everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. Stupid. So today's video, we are gonna be talking about how much I charge for the signs that I make or the monograms. I was corrected on that. They're actually called monograms. So we're gonna kind of go through all that. I'll talk to you about the way that I do it. You could do it a bunch of different ways. This is just the way that I personally do it. We're also going to be doing a small project. It's a very quick project that we're gonna be doing on the CNC table. I got a customer that wants a couple of silhouettes cut of a pigeon, uh, two different versions. This guy is a big hunter, so my first initial thought when he told me this, I gotcha. These are some kind of a weird pigeon that actually just do flips in the air randomly. I never knew that this was a thing. I've heard of pigeon racing before, but not uh, the pigeon flipping. I asked him how you train a bird to do that. My initial thought was maybe it was from inbreeding, but apparently it's some kind of a food that you give them to get them to flip. It's just fun to watch, I guess. So he just built a pigeon coop for these flipping pigeons and he wants me to cut a couple of silhouettes to put on the doors on each side of this thing. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And uh, it'll be very quick. We're not gonna go through all the CAD stuff. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna cut these things out. Subscribe! If you are interested in this Langmuir plasma table, use my promo code, Spicer Designs. You will get a discount. Or you can just click the link. It will take you to Langmuir's site and it will automatically apply the discount uh, at checkout. So enough chit chat. Let's get this machine fired up and start cutting these things out. It's always good to stretch before you cut steel. First thing we're gonna do is open up fire control, which communicates with the CNC table, and then we're gonna open up the cut file that we created. All right, I got everything set up. Now we're going to cut this in real time speed, so you can see exactly how long it takes for this thing to cut out without me speeding up the footage. I'm gonna be cutting this thing at 65 inches per minute, and it is 14 gauge mild steel.
All right, let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, yeah. There it is, killer pigeon. All right, let's go ahead and cut the second one, and then we can start talking about some pricing. Okay, this one's not as majestic as the first one, but that's what he wanted, and that's what he's getting. Kick on! Oh! Alright, now we're gonna grind off all this dross on the back side of these things, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, I got these two silhouettes cleaned up now. Uh, I literally have about probably an hour and a half into the whole thing. That's from putting the canvas on fusion, tracing it, creating the cut path, getting the steel up on here, and getting these things cut and cleaned up. These were really quick and easy to do. Usually they're not this easy, but these are pretty good ones here. So let's talk about pricing. Now, what would I charge for these two silhouettes right here? Um, the most important thing for pricing is going to be the physical size that you're going to be cutting and the gauge steel that you're going to be using. Uh, another huge factor is what kind of material you're using. The majority of the time, probably 99% of the time, I'm using mild steel, uh, preferably cold rolled that doesn't have the mill scale. Uh, it's a lot easier to clean up. The plasma cutter seems to like it better. Uh, that's what I prefer. So these two right here are roughly 20 by 20 on this one and this one is like I think 18 inches wide by 27 inches tall so I really didn't even give the guy a price on these he just gave me a hundred dollar bill I probably would have charged him a little bit less than that but uh, as fast as I'm gonna get them done for him uh, I think that there is value there so the hundred dollars is pretty much a good spot for both of these together now as far as what I have in material on these there's probably only and this is just a guess maybe twenty dollars in steel right here with my time and my machine use i'll make 80 bucks i'm not going to paint these things i didn't put any mounting holes in them mounting tabs nothing so for my general pricing the majority of the signs that i like to do are two foot by two foot i could get eight of those signs or monograms cut onto a four by eight sheet which is what my machine can handle and I generally like to keep those around $100 a piece for a two by two uh, monogram. Now, if it's a custom design where I'm doing a one time cut for like say a custom logo where I might be spending a lot more time on the CAD drawing, sometimes I'll actually have a separate charge uh, where I'm just charging them for the CAD drawing itself and then the cut and the sign will be separate. Uh, but typically, I'll keep those anywhere from the 120 to 150 range, depending on how intricate they are. The other factor is going to be if you have to do any fabrication work, if you have to do any standoffs on them, if there's any other layers on it, if they want specific mounting tabs, that's another factor. If I have to start doing fabricating, uh, if it's just minimal, then it's usually only like a 20 to $30 extra charge. And then the other thing would be paint jobs. I tell people I don't do paint jobs. I'm not a paint shop. If they want me to paint it, I'm literally going to hit it with Rust-Oleum. Um, but if they do want a paint job, I usually throw an extra 10 bucks on it. So generally a two by two monogram, you're looking at anywhere from 100 to $150. Now, when you start getting into the custom logos, custom designs that are a lot bigger, I've done a few of them. Those you're typically going to charge a lot more for. You have to usually create a rendering, um, get approval from the customer. There's a little bit more of a process involved in it. And typically it's going to be a commercial account where there's gonna, they're going to have more of a budget uh, than say your general homeowner. So a lot of it depends on who you're selling it to. If it's a commercial account or if it's just a uh, homeowner, 
Uh, if it's of a friend of yours, a family member, I mean, there's all kinds of different variations. You just kind of have to use your best judgment. Um, you kind of got to feel the market out, see what people want to pay, what they don't want to pay. And sometimes you might give people prices and they say no right away, but you know what? You have to make it worth your time. So there's a lot of jobs where I give people prices and they say no, um, but I'm not going to do it for any less than that because I know how much time it takes uh, to put into these things to get them cut. So I hope I gave you some good information there on some of the pricing that I do. Uh, I don't have a uh, specific model that I use and I'm just kind of doing this out of my garage as a side hustle. I'm sure there's other shops out there that have a specific way that they do their pricing. I don't. Feel free to ask me any questions you might have in the comments, uh, email, or you can message me on Instagram as well. Sorry, no Keystone Girl today. She's busy with the kids right now, so she'll definitely be around on the next one. Today, I just wanted to kind of keep it uh, short and sweet and right to the point. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.